Hey Slices! Today we're making DIY Cupcake Liner Lanterns. This craft is super simple to make even though they look complicated. Plus, you can make them on a budget as long as you know the right places to shop and the right coupons to use. So let's get started. You will need a paper lantern. I got mine cheaply at the dollar store, but you can get whatever kind you want. White cupcake liners, the big ones. Small colorful mini cupcake liners a bowl or some type of dish to help stand up the lantern, and a hot glue gun. To start my project, I laid down a piece of tin foil just to protect my surface, but you don't have to. Then I set out about 15 white cupcake liners. I like to work in shifts of cupcake liners, so this is the number I start with. Then take a mini cupcake liner and flip it inside out so the color part is showing on the outside and lay it in the white cupcake liners like I'm doing here. Then take your glue gun and glue each of these to the bottom of the liner. I like to make stacks of five and then set them to the side. You're going to repeat this with all the cupcake liners you think you'll need. I had an eight inch lantern and used about 50 cupcake liners, but you want to have more than less. Repeat with the rest of your cupcake liners. Open up your lantern and take your cupcake liners and glue them around the top in one row, smushing them slightly together for that abstract effect. You're going to repeat going down in rows, and you might need your bowl to help use as a stand later. Also, we're going to briefly talk about budget here. The lantern I got was about a dollar, and they come with a light, which is really great. Plus, they hold up a lot sturdier than they would normally because the cupcake liners. My cupcake liners, I used 50 mini ones, and I got the pack for a dollar, so they're about 50 cents. And the white ones, you can normally get a dollar with a coupon at Michael's. So all together, this craft should cost you about 250. Switching over to my other example, you just want to go around your lantern when you're done and look for little spots that the lantern might be shining through. Then take a bit of hot glue and just glue them together, and you're done. Now what's really cool about getting these cheap lanterns is they normally come in colors, and the color shines through the light, making them have this really nice tint to them. But if you don't have this type of lantern, you can always get white lanterns and glue some Christmas strand lights in for a brighter effect. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I upload every Sunday and Wednesday, so if you'd like notifications in your inbox, make sure to subscribe. I would like to say thank you to all 200 of my subscribers. That's pretty amazing. It's August 4th, and last month I hit 100 on the 1st. So this is really amazing that I've gotten 100 subscribers in one month. That's huge. Also, I would like to say, um, sorry about my Wednesday video not going up. I was very busy. I was actually at summer camp, so I could not film a summer camp video because I was taking care of kids. But I did see the giveaway and I'm working on the results now so hopefully that'll go up either this weekend or early next week. So thanks for watching again and see you guys next week. Bye!